This video will discuss the importance of assessing and monitoring the liver span as part of the circulation section in the emergency setting. Hepatomegaly in children is commonly attributed to intrinsic liver diseases such as organomegaly secondary to hepatitis to malaria, typhoid, scrub typhus, leptospirosis, etc. Another common cause of hepatomegaly is congestion secondary to cardiac failure or cardiovascular dysfunction. In other words, decreased heart contractility causes fluid accumulation in the lungs secondary to pulmonary edema. The second organ that, is, that gets congested or filled with fluid is the liver. Critically ill children have global features of cardiovascular dysfunction irrespective of etiology. That is, pulmonary edema and hepatomegaly are indirect clinical evidence of cardiovascular dysfunction when the airway breathing are compromised, the child has altered heart rates, blood pressure and MAP, and the level of consciousness is significantly depressed. Hence, the conventional rapid cardiopulmonary cerebral assessment has been modified to include the evaluation of the liver span on arrival and after every intervention throughout resusc resuscitation. On arrival, assessment of the liver span helps identify whether the child has hepatomegaly or not. If hepatomegaly is noted, respiratory distress is due to cardiovascular dysfunction. As oxygen and CPAP are administered and fluid bolus or and inotrope are started, monitoring the lower border of the liver in addition to the other parameters helps to understand how the heart is responding to the resuscitation measures. Regression and normalization of hepatomegaly occurs with the administration of preload, that is fluid bolus, initiation of vasoactive medications to improve cardiac contractility, and the reduction of afterload, that is provision of CPAP. Normalization of the liver span is one of the therapeutic goals in the PRAME process. The vital signs card with the values for normal liver span for age is used to interpret this indirect indicator of cardiac function. Occasionally, if a child presenting with respiratory distress has stony dullness on per percussion or you have difficulty in demarcating the upper border, you might be dealing with empyema. Failure to demarcate the upper border of liver dullness in a neonate presenting with respiratory distress is suggestive of congenital diaphragmatic hernia. A resonant note noted throughout the area of liver dullness, that is absence of liver dullness, is suggestive of pneumoperitoneum due to intestinal perforation. Another important exception is tense abdominal distension, especially due to cirrhosis of the liver. In chronic primary liver diseases, evaluation of liver span will not be useful for monitoring cardiovascular dysfunction. In conclusion, monitoring the liver span and Assessing for hepatomegaly throughout resuscitation of cardiorespiratory failure helps to rapidly recognize and resolve cardiovascular dysfunction during shock resuscitation.